they're celebrating in the streets of Mogadishu. Our spirits and morale are very high as we celebrate the election of our new president. But the fact that members of parliament elected Muhammad Abdullahi Muhammad behind blast walls shows Somalia remains a country in crisis. While hopes are high, President Muhammad will move Somalia in the right direction. It's a tough task ahead. The EU has released this statement saying, we look forward to hearing the president's plans for immediate action, notably on the formation of a government to deliver on unfilled commitments to ensure security. EU money funds troops from AMISOM, the African Union's peacekeeping mission in Somalia. The fact that the EU has, has financed AMISOM for the most part has been crucial. Um, although you can debate the, the success of AMISOM, um, but imagine if AMISOM wasn't there. But even with AMISOM, Islamic militants from Al Shabaab continue to carry out attacks. With the AU planning to begin a withdrawal of AMISOM troops next year, the EU is helping to finance and train Somali troops to take their place. Experts say it's in the EU's interest to make the Somali army as strong as possible. Somalia is a, has been a a source of, of, of uh, instability in the region and the fact that groups like Al-Shabaab have been able to prosper there is a source of instability uh, that goes far beyond the region. But the EU's pledge to Somalia goes beyond security. The EU has pledged nearly 64 million U.S. dollars to boost Somali schools. EU money has also improved the country's drinking water, funded legal assistance to women, and supported manufacturing facilities to help Somali entrepreneurs succeed. The EU also provides a significant amount of humanitarian aid to Somalia. Because of deadly drought and famine, last year the EU sent Somalia nearly $50 million in relief aid. Kevin Ozevec, CGTN, Brussels.